Look, no, no, that? honestly, if you're going to appeal to somebody like a textual scholar, but well, hold on, here, hold on, here's where it gets serious, because if you're going to appeal to somebody like a textual scholar, why won't you do the same for your Quran? Please tell me one thing. Why is it that the disciples did not quote the fact that Jesus would be pierced? Yahweh means the ever-existing one. No, I not. am that I am, Yahweh. No, that's what I am that I am, the ever-existing one, that's what I mean. This is wrong, it's not what it says. It says, I will be with them. That's what Yahweh means, I will be with them. It means, I am that I am. You're adding your own interpretation. I don't want to hear what you have to say, bro. This is the actual translation. No, it's just in the actual translation. You're a liar. No problem. Why is it then that you translate the word correctly in the following verse, the verse before? When he says, tell the, how, how will the people know that it's come in the name of Yahweh? How will they know? How will they know? Tell me. I'm reading from the verse directly because I like you. I don't trust you. I don't care what you trust. I'm going to the translation. Which translation is that? Well, then don't ask me then. Why are you asking stupid questions? I'm going to the translation, bro. The translation from the Greek is corrupted. So the Greek is corrupted? Yes, 100%. The Greek was written by Jews, bro. The Septuagint was written by Jews, bro. What did they write? What did they write? They wrote the Septuagint, bro. How many of them? 70, bro. 70? 70, bro. They were all Stoic philosophers. They corrupted the text. Oh, my. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Because, no, no, hold on. You no, 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 this is stupid. They were Stoic philosophers. Therefore, they were wrong. Of you are such a oh bro, bro. You are not bringing an argument. These were Christians. They believed in this text. They were Jews. They believed in this text, bro. So you're going against them. You're going against me. You're going against them. Why is it discrepancy to the Dead Sea Scrolls? Why is it that's irrelevant to this conversation, bro? Because we're talking about Exodus 3:14, bro. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you want me to read it? The verse before, right? Read 3:14. Let me get you a picture. The Pharisees. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they shout, they, they say to me, What is his name? What shall I tell him? So Moses asked him, what, what is the name I should say to him? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me. I've got the interlinear here just to prove that this is from the Greek. I have the Hebrew, I have the Hebrew here. The Hebrews here, it's the exact same word. Your church has come up with the translation. They corrupted. Look, the verse before says, but I shall be with you. Where, the what exact site did you get that from? What do you mean, what site? And second of all, this is from the Septuagint. This is the Hebrew So I'm going to read out what the Septuagint actually says, the not what you believe, or what you believe the Masoretic says. Yeah? Asha, Heya, Amar. Thus says, thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am, Heya has sent you. The ever-existing one, Yahweh, has sent you. That's what the verse says. What do you mean am I done? You haven't brought an argument, so you're not going to bring anything to me. I just proved to you that the anything. verse before has the exact same Hebrew word, and your church translates it correctly. This is my church that translated it, bro. It is. Except two of the 70 Jews translated it that way. Origin, no, you know what I'm saying? No problem. Origin translated the text. You know My that, right? text doesn't come from Origin. It does. It, it comes does. from Jerome, you, you idiot. It idiot. comes from Jerome. Yeah, well, the, the Latin book, it comes from yeah. Jerome, yeah. first of all. Bro, origin came from Jerome. Learn your church history. I know where he comes from. Before Jerome, there was a text. There was a Masoretic text. There was canons that no were established before that. There was councils that established before that. So bring up Jerome like I'm, I'm your jab does, and you can't even bring an argument to me, bro. So I'm you Jerome None of our canons come from Jerome. So I repeat your argument. You don't even know what you're talking about. I never made the claim that Jerome did. I said origin. Our cannons don't come from Jerome. Huh? Our cannons don't come from, come from okay. origin. Oh, no problem. Where do they come from? Where they come from the Septuagint, bro. That's what I've read here. Bro, can you tell me what was written in the Septuagint? What was written? What, what books were written in the Septuagint? Do you think the whole thing was the Septuagint? No, not the whole thing. There was, okay, there was, well, Exodus was, yeah. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Exodus, the Tanakh was written as well. Okay, the five books, no, not the Tanakh. Ten, it says you don't know nothing, bro. I do know something. I do know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Do you know Hebrew? I, I know more than speak you. Speak Hebrew then. I know more than speak you. Speak Hebrew. I know more than you. Speak Hebrew. I don't need to speak Hebrew. Oh, so you don't know Hebrew. You're telling me I don't know Hebrew. What's angel? What's angel in Hebrew? Malak. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Malak, I know what I mean. No problem, no problem. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. We're not playing your games anymore. Because you're ignoring the verse. I don't need to speak The verse is clearly Satan, bro. That this is your way speaking. You want to look at the Hebrew? Do you want to look at it? I don't care about your text. You've got to be some He doesn't care about the Greek Septuagint right here. The Greek Septuagint is right here. 
I'm not saying the church corrupted it. The 70 wrote this Bible down. I trust them more than you. I don't even know what you know. You don't even know anything about it, bro. The Hebrew disagrees with you, bro. It disagrees with you. You don't know Hebrew. It doesn't matter if I know. I can show you. Dude, you don't know Hebrew. You just brought up some picture. I brought up an Italian, you You brought up some damn picture. You probably got it from an Islamic website. You don't know what you're talking about. Listen, listen. What does Yahweh mean? The ever existing one. What does Yahweh mean? The ever existing one. I've just said that. I know how they play that game. How many times can I say the ever existing one before it gets in your head? Right, no, no, just... That's not what Yahweh means. Yes, it does. That's I am not, I am. Yahweh means I shall be hey, with them. Hey, hey, I, I will be with them. That's it not means I am that, that I am. You guys I've literally read the translation. Don't I don't know what this guy is doing. You I've literally just read the translation. Hey, Asha, hey, I am that I am, bro. It says that means I will be with you. And your church translates it correctly in the verse above. But you're corrupted. assuming that you've got no proof. You're just saying the church corrupted it. That's rubbish. That's rubbish, bro. All right, let me show someone else the Hebrew then. No problem. I know you're Christians. So let me show you. So it says one now. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, look, look. Okay, so, verse 13, but I shall be with you, okay? Here's the Hebrew. Hang on, second, look. Hang on, here. No, we're not looking at the passage. Let me just look at the whole passage. Take the phone, take the phone. No one understands you. No one understands you. And by the way, Bob, I've got the insulin here, so in case he wants to run. You got a Greek translation, bro. Yes, and a Greek translation was done by the Septuagint, so right. The Septuagint really... is corrupted. We've already proven that, bro. You haven't proven it, anything. Bro, that... You've just said it was corrupted. That's not about your answer, is it? It's not, it's not me saying, oh, the Quran's corrupted. Therefore, it's. Therefore, it's. Masoretic text. Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. However, however, this verse marries up with the Dead Sea Scrolls. So you're not quoting the Septuagint. You're not quoting the Septuagint. You're quoting the Masoretic text. You're not even quoting the Septuagint. You're quoting the Masoretic text. You, you just quoted Masoretic text. I don't quote it because it marries up with the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, bro, bro, you don't. Which one? Out of wait. You come here. You don't even know what you're talking about. Hang on a minute. Out of the Samaritan text, the Septuagint, and the Dead and the Masoretic text, which of those three is closest to the Dead Sea Scrolls? Can you tell me? Which of those three? One minute, I'm getting a verse up. One Do you know? Out of the Septuagint, Masoretic text, and the Samaritan text, which of those three are closest to the Dead Sea Scrolls? Do you know? <laughs> yeah, the Septuagint is the 70, it's yeah. It's not. The yeah, Septuagint it's... conforms to only 10% of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, God, is Dead That's sea irrelevant. Scrolls, yeah. There's other texts in there like Baruch and one no, no, Michael. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. So, no, hold on, hold on. In the Septuagint, they're also I'm no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The There's other writings the within. That within the case of Qumran, there are other writings as well as Baruch and one Maccabees and other stuff like that. Yes, yes. So if you know that, stop trying to add that to the Ports and Canon because it doesn't work. Huh? You just said that that the, Qum, the case of Qumran, the ones in, in the text came to Qumran, don't match up to the ones in Septuagint, right? That's what some you're of saying. them do, some of them do. Right, some, some of them do. Right, some that's do. what you're saying. What I'm saying is there are other texts like one Maccabees, two Maccabees, Baruch, that we do not have in the Protestant canon. I know. So if you know this, why are you bringing it's up like that? It's only 10%. No? It's probably way more than that. You just, you're just making up interpolation. No, 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 this is not me saying it. These are scholars who are saying this, not me. What scholar? I'll show, yeah. I'll show you. Dead Sea right. Scrolls. So what, what, what do you want to read? Where from? Just, just read from, he said from 11 yeah, downwards. Oh, yeah. 11 downwards. That's from Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, so Moses said to God, who am I? That, oh, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? And that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, certainly I will be with you. This is, will be a token. Be the token to you. That I have sent you. When you have brought, sorry. When you are brought out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. Moses said to God, behold, when I come to the children of Israel and tell them that the God of your fathers has sent you, God sent me to you, and they ask me what is his name, what should you should I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am, and he said, You shall tell the children of Israel this I am has sent you. It's the same thing I said to you. Why are you asking I, me? I understand. That? This is the this is the Greek Septuagint saying this. Yes. I'm telling you in the Dead Sea Scrolls. This is Dead Sea Scrolls. This is Dead Sea Scrolls. You just said it was Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead yeah, Dead Sea Scrolls. I don't know where you get this from. I don't know where you get this from. So it was the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, yeah, this is No problem. And that's what I was saying because that's what I understand it as because that's no what problem. it says. No problem. As the Masoretic text translates it, it says, I will be with them. But the Masoretic text is much later. Do you know that the Masoretic text, sorry, the Dead Sea Scrolls, contains um, both manuscripts, some for the Masoretic and some that match up with the Greek. Yeah, yeah. yeah and not just that, some, yeah, yeah. some were actually later. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Not yeah. all of them come from the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah that's Let me fine. read this to you quickly, okay? Right. However, <coughs> despite these variations, most of the Qumran fragments can be classified as being closer to the Masoretic text I think than to any... Okay, yeah. well, you know, okay, than to any other group that survived. According to Lawrence Schiffman, 
uh, 60%, like you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. can be classed as being of proto masoretic type, and a further 20% from one style with the basis in proto masoretic text, yeah. compared to 5% proto Samaritan, the Samaritan text. Okay, yeah, yeah. 5% yeah. Septu Septuagint. Yeah. Okay, and 10% non, non aligned. Just with that conforms to nothing. Yeah. Okay? I understand that obviously there are some fragments in there that come from later or some yeah, earlier. Yeah. My point to you, and I have to look at this again by the way, I'm, I might be wrong in this respect, I might be wrong, okay? When it comes to which one conforms more, it is a mathematic text. It's according to scholarship, not me. Right? Not not according to me. Right. In this situation, maybe it conforms more to you, possibly. But as a whole, I'm gonna take the one that conforms more as a percentage and the ones that now, what, are, you, irrespective of what you've done is you quoted one scholar and you cited that scholar as the, as the be all and end all of all historical okay, scholars. Well, look, look up who he is. We've, we've got people like Dan Wallace. Hold on one minute. We've got people like Dan Wallace saying the Septuagint is reliable. It's just as reliable. Dan Wallace is New Testament yeah, scholar. Yeah, I acknowledge that. So yeah. I, 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 I would agree with him more than I'll agree with you. And, and, so and the like, truth is, but he said six straight away. The New Testament quotes from the New Testament actually match up more with the Septuagint. Because they were using Septuagint. Well, right? well, they say that, yes. or possibly even in another text that they don't have now. That's that's what they've said, but at least it it's in the vein of the Septuagint. I hear you. Yeah, hear you. That, that is what is. Let me ask you guys one question about yeah, yeah. Psalm 22. Yeah. Psalm 22. Psalm 22. What's Psalm 22 about? Is it a foreboding of something? Is it a prophecy? What do you think Psalm 22 is about? Um, I, I, well, Jesus obviously relates to it when he's uh -huh. when he's on the cross. He relates to it. He says uh -huh. that. Well, well, if I forgive me for yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me read it up again. Yeah, let me read it because I, I want to make sure I'm being honest. Of course, with no, 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 of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, so sorry, I came in a bit heavy before. Yeah. No, no, it's all right. Everyone was shouting. Yeah, 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 everyone was shouting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right, so I'll, I'll read from the verse. Can I read through it all just yeah, to make sure? Whatever you want to do, bro. Okay, so to the chief musician, set to the deer of the dawn, a psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus quotes on the cross, right? Yeah, yeah, he quotes on the cross. Why are you so far from helping me? and from the words of my groaning. Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear, and in the night season I am not silent, but you are holy, enthroned in the place of Israel. Yep, yep. Our fathers trust in you, they trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. delivered. Yep. They trusted in you and were ashamed, but I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men. So Jesus described himself, we believe yep. that. Because yeah, yeah, yep. it's on the cross. Uh -huh. but anyway, let me read it. And despised by the people, all those who see me ridicule me. That's what happened at the cross. The Roman guards were ridiculing well, all the, the Jewish. The guy on the other cross, depending on the gospel, was actually with him. The other guy that was being Well, there was, there was still, in every instant, there was still people ridiculing him. Not all of them were just like it, it, it doesn't matter whether it's all of them, because I at the end of the day, they were instantly okay. with him. Even for the child, at the child of Caiaphas, they were mocking him. They put a phone on his head. And he, Pilate so was with him in that case. Yeah. Pilate, Pilate was on his side. Go ahead. Keep going. He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him. That's what they said to him on the cross in one of the accounts, right? Yeah. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Yep. But you who are, he who took me out of the womb, yep. you made me trust while on my mother's breast. Yes. I was a cast upon you from birth. I, from was my, a... I was cast upon you from birth, from my mother's womb, because obviously we know Jesus had a mother because he became incarnate in flesh. Yes, yes, yes. You have been Quality. my God. Be not far from me. God is the God of all flesh, by the way. Yep, yep. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. So yep. this is going on. They gape at me with their mouths yeah. like a raging and What have surrounded like. him? What have? What have surrounded him? Many bulls are surrounding me. Bulls? Bulls? Strong bulls of Bashan. Okay, keep going. They gape at me with their mouths like a raging and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. This is what happened when obviously like Longin has put the spear inside According of the Gospel of John. Yeah. yeah. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax; it has melted within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. This is describing Jesus on the cross, and my tongue clings to my jaws. Again, describing the cross. You have brought me to the dust of death, for dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. Yeah. They pierce my hands and my feet. No, it's they pierce the hands and feet of Jesus. That's what I want. Is it I, want good? Okay. I want this. Go ahead. I can count all my bones. They look at me, look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast off. That's what they did in, in your in your yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was just John. I think just John. that was just John. Wait. Uh, so I'm per per se, I'm not, I'm not too sure about reference. I know for a fact. I'll, I'll read. I'll read for it. I'll read for it again anyway. Oh, but if, if I'm wrong, then anybody can quote a passage. Or if JC, oh, if you want to bring up a passage. Thingy, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but you, O oh Lord, do not be far can from me. Can I be heard in this? Or yeah, you can. You can. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No worries. No worries. Go on. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the world. Now, Satan is called a lion, a roaring lion in the Bible. I'll stop you there. Yeah. Okay, okay, good, good, good. So, we read through Psalm 21. No, we haven't read through it all. Oh, not all of it, not all of it, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we've read through it, Yeah. right? Not all of it, obviously. Yeah. But we're redacted a bit of it. 
Now, tell me, who do you think it's referring to? You believe Jesus, yes? Yeah, we believe okay. Jesus. Do you know what the Jewish understanding of that is? Um, who do you, who's I, I, I think they believe it's Israel. I've heard some Jews say that. David. They so believe they believe it's David. Of course they would. Of course yeah, they, would. they would. Yeah, I understand. I understand. We, we know, yeah. But, yeah, but understand. what we don't see is David being pierced or even on a cross or his, his clothes cast for a lot. We don't see that anymore. One second now. The, yeah. pi the piercing now. The piercing is what we want to talk about. Okay. Yeah. What do the Dead Sea Scrolls say about this? What, what word is used in the Dead Sea Scrolls? Probably if you can get the Dead Sea Scrolls up. Look, look, I, want the, I want the Hebrew. I want the Hebrew. I'm going to get mine up. I'm going to get okay, mine up. I this one, I have this, this translation is in, is in English. I don't read Hebrew. Course, yeah, no. none of us read Hebrew. Not, not even you, mate. So no, I, don't, I don't read Hebrew. I right. know there is contention over it. Is this so close one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Have you not realised all the time, why people are part of it? As people, the main Jewish religion that we all go on about, everyone's bothered about, yeah? Do you know how many lives that's cost people? No, no, it's not true. Each other, it's not true. We kill each other religion. General Mao killed well, people and he was an atheist. One religion. Uh, General Mao killed 10 million people. Uh, General Mao. Yeah. He was an atheist. Uh, Joseph Stalin killed about 20 million people. Yeah, Joseph Stalin. And Lenin as well, he huh? killed me. It's an atheist, not a religion. Yeah, no, atheism system. is it's a belief system. Atheism is a belief system, but it's yeah, not a religion. Atheists will disagree with you. Atheists will disagree with you, my friend. Some, some people have made No, 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 because again, it's the belief in no God. The Bible says, fear, so he, right he way, can right destroy way. not just body, oh, but body and soul in hell. Yeah, we've changed the subject. No, 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 that's not. Yeah, Psalm 22, we don't, we don't. I ain't got it in the Hebrew, I've only got it. Oh, you've only got it, you haven't got it. I'll get it from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Have you ever killed anyone? Have you ever killed anyone? Are you British? Are you British? I think the problem with you, you've diverted subject. So if you don't want to talk, you can, and we'll just wrap up. Because I, I don't think, right. Yeah, because they're talking to each other, and we're not getting anywhere. Are you not finished? Because we actually want to get to the point. Because you lot are talking about something that's real. Sorry, sorry. Okay. He's going to get the, um, the translation up, then I'm going to show you. The word that's used is Kari. Kari means lion, for the word piss. The Christians, one Canadian scholar, I can't remember his name right now, he's the one that put this contention for that it actually means piss. The Hebrew is actually piss. But there's no way it can mean piss. It's not even the correct word. This is the word here. Right, you can see it there. That's the word in contention. Right, this is piss. If there was going to be piss, there would have to be a few extra letters on there. The word is lion. So it's not they pierced my hands, it's they're at my hands like a lion. Well, for, you, first of all, what? No, no, hold on one minute, because you're making a lot of interpolations. I've got to stop you there. What, te what scroll have you got that from? Because you, you're showing me a scroll on your scroll. It's the scroll, bro. This is the scroll. It's the scroll. Because it, it looks like you've, you, you've watched a video, no offense, but you've watched a video yeah. and you've taken something from that video. Yeah, that's and you've come from it. the Masoretic text. So if it's come from the Masoretic text, oh, again, we all agree that the Septuagint, we agree with it. Let's read it, let's read it, let's read it. Let's read it. Go on. I'll, I'll, I'll scrap the from Psalm 22. The scrap from Psalm 22 found at Nashel Heba is uh, 5 6, I don't know what HEV is or call, I don't know what that means. Fragment 9. Okay, let me with the let me text, no worries. With the text under investigation from Psalm 22 17 in hand. In hand there, yeah? Yeah. This is the this is the word of contention. This cannot mean pierced. This cannot mean pierced. And, and, and this is from the Masoretic text. No, this is from the Dead Sea Scroll. No, no, he's saying it's from the Masoretic text. No, no, so he's, he's, if you're saying that, it's incorrect. This is from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Right. All right. Again, again, I'm, I'm, I'm just noticing because so I'm trying to be as honest as I can. No worries. No and I'm trying to work out what's going on. Because at the end of the day, you've come with a basically a, a YouTube thing. Right? I could easily do that. Go to Jason. I understand. I understand. But, like, but what am I supposed to do? Bring a book to you? I can't bring the Dead Sea Scrolls. No, no, I don't want you to bring a book to me. But, like, Honestly, like, it's just the a, burden of proof a screenshot. The kind of putting on me is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. No, 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 you just bought a screenshot, man. So, no worries, no so worries. anybody's going to do that, then I might as well. Can I make one more point? Because I've got a lot of screenshots that refute the Quran. If you want to go through them, you can. You want to talk about the Quran? If you want. If you want to talk about it. No, 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 no. Let's finish this one. Let's finish, finish your point, and then we'll what go through it. What verse was that again? Give me the verse. Uh, Psalm 22. Psalm 22. Verse 1. Uh, not 17. It's no, uh, sorry. Yeah, 17. 22, 17. No, no, it's not. It's not 17. If that's 17, that's wrong because it's, it says here. Wait. 16. It says 16, right? No, no, it doesn't say 16. Yeah, no, no, it does say 16. Do you know why? Do you know why? Yeah, this one says 16. Do you know why? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is this is this is proof, by the way, that your book has been corrupted. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. So, so you bought you bought a passage from from chapter wait. 22, 17. 17, and I've got this, but 17 says, I can count all my bones and they no, look and stare. The Septuagint, they brought, they've, they've deleted a verse before that, right? So they've started the chapter, and it's for a theological reason. They've started the chapter earlier. I can't remember the reason why, don't ask me. I, I, I don't know where you're getting that from. I'm being honest, I don't know where I mean, you're getting that from. I mean, it's clear, I mean, it's 17. Because, yeah, but it says 17 on here as well, and 17 is really different from it. I know, I know. And this is the Septuagint I'm reading. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, all right, forget that, forget that. Let me ask one more question. So, 
if oh, he's asking contention. another question. Right, if the contention is, look, I will grant you, uh, I will grant you piss. I'll grant it. All right. right. For the sake of argument, I don't believe it says uh, piss. I believe it says. But right. you have to bring more evidence to prove that. So no far, worries. you saw me a, a burst out of context, which no may worries. not be the first that we're talking about. Okay, okay. Do you think that no problem? Now, let me let, let me just say one more little caveat thing. Right. The gospel writers were they quoted from the Septuagint? Yes or no? I would, I would say yes, they were. From, from what I know. From what I know, yeah. Mainly from the Greeks. No worries. Yeah, they've got it from Greek. And, and John was yeah, Greek yeah. as well. John, yeah. John, John spoke Greek and he translated his gospel into Greek as well. So he knew it. It was the lingua franca anyway. Yeah. 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 That's obviously disputed as well, but forget that. Right? I would say it. I would say it, but. So, we all agree that the Old Testament was being quoted, yes, by the, by the disciples. The, yeah. The, if you believe the, that they wrote the gospels, then they were quoting the Septuagint, yes? Yeah, they were. They were no good. worries. Okay? If, you, if you believe that, no problem. Now, it is very obvious there are many prophecies in the, in the New Testament referring to the Old Testament, correct? Yeah. We, we, we can agree. Okay? Yeah. No worries. Now, please tell me one thing. Why is it that the disciples did not quote the fact that Jesus would be pierced? And they quote this passage. Jesus quotes it, apparently, when he's on the cross, saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He's referring to Psalm 22. Why has he not mentioned the piercing? Because this no, is no, even no, more- Because the disciples who wrote it after wrote that text out. That's really, a, it's not really an argument. No problem. Because the, the people who wrote down the New Testament, yeah. obviously, obviously it took them that verse to Jesus issue? Christ. Do you understand my issue? Do you understand I my do, point? I, do, I, do, I, do, I do understand what you're saying, I don't understand but... But yeah. we also have to be honest with the text yeah. and what they quoted rather than saying it's dishonest or they were trying to hide Yeah, they're not trying to hide it. For instance, they've only quoted the beginning of Psalm 22. Yeah. Some Muslims will advance the position that because only the beginning is, 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 is cast, that Jesus was forsaken. But he wasn't because I, don't when you, that. I, don't I know, I know, I, I know, and, 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 and I respect that you don't. But obviously, when you go through the whole passage of Psalm 22, at the bottom, Jesus says, well, it says within the passage, it's a messianic passage, yeah. that he was heard. The bulls of Baton surrounded him, and he was in a desperate position, but he was heard. Yeah. So that would be that would be how we would view it. And there's many there's many verses like this, bro, where you get into the like, passages like Mark 1-1, for example, telescope. where Mark's quoting Isaiah 40, verse 3. Yep. Right? It's quoting that to refer to the Lord coming to, come to his temple and John. Well, you can believe that, that's fine, that's your belief. But he's still quoting that. He's only quoting a bit of it, he isn't quoting the whole of Isaiah. Yeah. He's just quoting a bit of it. But to prove the point that this was the Lord who was coming to his temple, to prove that point. So yeah, they're, they're, these are Jews, by the way. They're quoted from the Old Testament. So they know what they're doing. Right? And, and you uh, believe it's Jews, you're right here. Obviously, I don't believe that it was Jews. Yeah, it was Jews, right? because Jesus, Jesus was a Jew and his yeah, followers. I, I understand the storyline, I get the storyline, but my contention, that's not even my contention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, your Quran says they were Jews. Your, I, your Quran says that. Yes, but you, so you're if, if you're going to negate the Quran, then... No, no, you're missing a caveat here, right? The idea is, I believe those people might have been Jews, or Bani Israel, I believe that. Right. However, I don't believe these are the people who transmitted those words that you have in your... Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so no, hold on, hold on. Brother, 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 if you're, you're going to say that, though, if you're going to say that, though, then you've got to negate the Quran, because according to chapter 3, verse 55 of the Quran, Allah says he will make superior those who follow Jesus I know, Christ. I know but who follows Jesus well. Christ? No worries. Historically, people follow Jesus so, Christ. So, 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 can I tell you who that's Can I just ask a question? I know you're going to say Nassara, but that's... It's just made, one quick one. But he's made, he's made a claim. I, have I, to, I, I, have I need to just interject this quickly. It's very okay, simple. I'm, I'm keeping that in mind. You know the Quran talks about the Injil then. Would you, would you, would you submit then, because it's talking of an Injil, which uh, Injil in, in Greek, from the transliteration, would mean gospel, or would you say that the Injil then would be something different that wouldn't agree with that? Can I answer his first and answer Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. I got, yeah, yeah. Now I've got your answer. Yeah. I've heard the question many times, yeah. but I'm not okay. going to Okay, so, when it comes to Moses, the point I was making with you, I'll right, it was chapter first. 3, verse 55 of the, the Quran. Most, right? that, that's the yeah, that they would be superior no to those who lack faith. Okay. That's what it says. So, if we read the text here, right, the exegesis, the one that was transmitted by Ibn Abbas. Oh, Abbas, yeah. Ibn Abbas, you know Ibn Abbas, right? Yeah, yeah, I know so Abbas. He's, uh, he's our first new person, our first uh, exegete of the Quran. The but he's not your only one. No, no, it's not your only one. There's Kafir as well. Right. It's Kabir as well, Ibn Kabir. Ibn, but Ibn Kabir comes much later and he's quoting Ibn Abbas, along with other people right. as well. Right, I know. And Ibn Taymiyyah and other stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got it. So, when it, comes to, when it comes to this verse, what's being referred to is they were victorious in the coming of the Muslims, the ones who re-established Tawheed, the ones who re-established the oneness of God. This is how those people, the disciples, were uppermost through us. We are the ones who have made them. Right, but the verse doesn't say it. It says the people who follow Jesus. I understand, I understand. It doesn't say anything about those who follow Muslims. It doesn't say anything about that. It says the people who follow Jesus. I understand. And I've got, I've got, surrender. and that's, that's why, that's why he says here. Wait, let me just quote it. Oh, crap. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. That, that's why he literally says, could you, oh. <laughs> This phone's been playing up a lot. No, it's okay. It's okay. This, but remember, this is an English translation. 
you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. To classical scholars who knew the Arabic, understood the I know, but we've got people like, and this is why I want to show you as well, because whilst we can talk about 355, and I'm not going off topic of 355, even in Surah 548, we've got classical scholars affirming that Muhammad, which I remember, I think it was you, who brought up Muhammad to me and asked him what Muhammad is. I think, I think it was you or it was somebody else. I can't remember. Okay. I don't think I've ever spoken. Okay, so but, but basically in 548, yeah, the word Muhammad is used. And people, what Muslims believe, now? Muslims believe, well, let me, let me just explain what Muslims believe. Muslims believe that that verse means to be like a cannon or a, a goalpost or a goal, basically. And that the Quran is the, the, is the highest goal, right? Yes. But the earliest, the earliest response is like, it been our quote quotably, and others, Kortubi, yeah? yeah, actually believe it was it was a view of it. It wasn't a so. Let me let me yeah, quote. Yeah, sorry. By the way, Kortubi is not infallible. So we don't we don't take every, we don't buy blind follow scholars. I, I, I've got two others. I've yeah, got two others. So let me let me just get it off you. And by the uh, way, Ibn Kortubi came much Kortubi. He came much much later. He's right. 1400s, bro. 1400s. I, I'm 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 just I'm not I know, even pointing. He is a good I'm, scholar. He's a big scholar. He's a big scholar. Right. I agree. I, I can see that. The point I'm making to you is that we don't blind follow him, and he came much much later. But I'm, I'm not just going to quote him. I'm going to quote others as well. No worries. Just to, just to show Oh, come on. But Muhammad means overseer, yeah? You know that, right? It means the criterion over something. Well, it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that, and that's what I was going to show. Because I've got verses from Ibn Kafir as well, which I'm going to get up with this false. Ibn Kafir is much later as well. He's, he's in the 1300s, bro. Okay, but uh, again, like, I remember Origin was quoted by Imam Jab. Did you see it? Right? I remember Origin was quoted by Muhammad and Jab. And that was referred to Jewish text, and he tried to use it. So I, I'm just doing, I'm using his method. Remember, right? the origin was closer to your, your, your beginning state with Jesus than, than Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Kathir are to Prophet Muhammad So I'm saying, our, our gap is not as big as yours when it comes to origin and your, your genesis and Ibn Taymiyyah and our genesis, or thought to be in our genesis. You okay. my point, you my point. No, 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 I see your point. One minute, one minute, one minute. Let me... Okay, so this is this is from Sorry, this is from <laughs> uh, yeah yeah so it's all right, all right. Yeah, let's move it. Okay, so this, so this is a quote this from thing, this is a quote on sorry yeah Should we come in? yeah yeah. Else? yeah so this is a quote from Tafsir. Hey, no dogs yeah no dogs in the bottom yeah no dogs no dogs there's not gonna be any dogs yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is a Tafsir and this is this is from uh, Ibn Taymiyyah yeah. yeah. First of all, it reads this. So, Umar ibn al khattab brought to Allah's Messenger a copy of the Torah and said, Allah's Messenger, this is a copy of the Torah, so he's basically giving him a copy of the Torah, he doesn't yeah, yeah, stipulate yeah. what it is. He, Allah's Messenger, kept quiet and he, Umar, began to read it. The colour of the face of Allah's Messenger, peace be underwent a change, whereupon Abu Bakr said, Would that your mother mourn you, you don't see the face of Allah's Messenger. Of Allah's Messenger said, I seek refuge with Allah from the wrath of Allah and the wrath of his messenger. We are well pleased with Allah as Lord, with Islam as religion and with Muhammad as a prophet. Whereupon Allah's messenger by him, his hands, so he sent him, he's basically sent him a copy of the Torah, right? And he's basically free. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the second Caliph of Islam. Yeah, yeah. so he sent him a copy of the Torah, he's reading it. So let me read it. He sent it or he brought it to him? He brought it to him, he brought it to him. Whereupon Allah's messenger said, by him in whose hand is the life of Muhammad, even if Moses were to appear for you, and you were to follow him, leaving me aside, you would certainly stray into error. For if Moses were alive now, he would he would find my pro prophetic ministry and he would definitely follow me. So he's basically saying if Moses were alive now, we follow him. Yeah, no so problem. this gets no to the point where Al Jalalain comes in. So yeah, 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 Al Jalalain yeah. is another person. Yeah, he's a big one, yeah. And this is regarding 448, 446 or 448, right? And we cause Jesus, son of Mary, to follow them in their foot, follow in their footsteps. That is the prophet's footsteps. Confirm the Torah before him. And we gave to him the gospel, wherein is guidance and from error and light, yep. an exposition of rulings, confirming Musadakin, which is, a, it says circumstantial qualifier, I think that was in the translation, to Torah before it. Rulings contained therein, and as a guidance and an Im, Im admonition to the God fearing. So it's basically saying that this is a guidance to the belief. The, the Torah. The Torah yeah. and the Torah, yeah. Yeah, the Torah and the Injil. That was there to Said so, let the prophet of the gospel judge according to what God has revealed therein, of rulings. A very weird, yeah, that, that's just addition. That's been addition. It's about adding in practice. Okay, no Whoever does not judge according to what God has built, those are the wicked. He's basically saying anybody who does not judge by the Torah and the gospel is wicked. I've got this from also from Al, Al Jadulain. So this is further in, in the text. So this is 47 or 48. Okay. What? And we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book, the Quran with the truth, Bil Haq, is semantically connected with Anuzza. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not Arabic, by the way. Say the word again. 
Anuz, a, Anzal, no. Anzal, no, Anzal, no, re revealed, yeah. We have revealed, confirming a book that was before it. So it's confirming the book that was before it. It's not saying that the book's Allah not is saying that about the Quran, yeah? That it's, it's confirming what came before. Is that what he's saying there? No, no, he's, he's saying that the book's before it. He's saying the Quran itself confirms the book's before it. Confirms, confirms it. No worries, right, yeah. Right. Confirming the book that was before it and watching over it, testifying to it. The book means scriptures. So judge between them and between the people of scripture. If they take their case before you according to what God has revealed. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Uh, do not follow their whims, deviate from the truth that has come to you, every, to every community, to every one of you, or communities. We have appointed a divine law and a, a clear way and a clear path of religion. So he's saying he's, he's, he's appointed this divine law and his clear way of religion, right? Yeah. If God had willed, he would have made one, you one community. So he would have made the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims one community. He if he'd willed. If he'd willed. But he didn't will it. Neither did your God, though. Let's be, let's be fair. Isn't it? Well, Clearly. Not, Clearly. Not in the same way, because he, he hasn't said that he sent a book to each one of the people. He's only sent one book. No, no, no. But you can't be saved in your religion without the blood of Christ, correct? So You cannot be saved in your religion. There's no salvation. There's no salvation without, 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 without belief and acknowledgement of the salvific atonement. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. but the, the same now, thing with, with your with your Quran, No, bro. not the same thing. No, no, it is the same thing. Because the problem it's is... Not, I'll tell you no, what. No, the problem is, bro. Let me finish. The problem is, with your Quran, bro, it's claiming things like, oh, Allah sent down the Torah and the Gospel. It's claiming that it sent down books before it. My, uh, so the God your, of the Quran, the God of the Quran. The New Testament confirms that as well. Yeah, so but it, it, it confirms it because it is the God of the, the Old Testament. It's not, it's not coming out saying, oh, we have sent these things believe. down. You believe it's the same God, yeah. No, 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 we, we don't believe that. That's just what the text says. That's what, it's, that's what it says. So it's, it's a belief, it's a belief, but it's all, it also matches what up with the Messianic text. text. What text says that? What text says that, what text says that in, my, in my New Testament? Yeah, yeah. What? So, uh, you're saying your New Testament confirms the one that, that they have the same God, correct? Is that what your New Testament says? Well, it, it says the, well, it basically says that Jesus confirms the, the Father, the Jewish Father at the time of the Old Testament. It says that in your New Testament. It doesn't say those exact words. So but I'm going to say there's a rendering of it. There's a rendering of it. There's a, there's a rendering of it. Okay, because no it's basically, no he's basically confirming what no the Jews thought so of the Messiah. The same God? So, do we believe in the same God, me and you? Me, me and you don't believe in the same okay, God. No problem. Because no problem. Muhammad is a later invention. I understand, I understand. Right? So is Jesus. Jesus came way after Malachi. Anyway, that's the that, That's irrelevant. Malachi no, wasn't the Messiah. You just used the point against me. No, but Malachi wasn't the Messiah. Huh? It's in, in, so, for example, it's in, in Quran 7, 157. Yeah. Muhammad says that if, if, like, I'm in the Old Testament. I'm in like, the New Testament. Sure. He says he's in, the, he's sure. in the, the, the Torah and the New Testament. That's what he's saying. Torah, right? yeah. He's claiming to be in his books, right? He's came and he was in his books, right? But nobody sees him, right? He's not mentioned. He's not a messianic yeah, figure either. But just like how the Jews don't see Jesus, you know, you guys don't see Muhammad. But again, I, but I, but again the, same the messianic figure, but here, here's a problem. The messianic figure the Jews disclaim was fulfilled by Jesus Christ. And they admit this. They admit, they admit that in their tradition, right? The se before the second temple was destroyed, yeah? yeah? There would be a messiah coming. But they just rejected Jesus. Yeah, there's no problem. There's no, there's no problem with that. So there's a difference between yeah. a, messi a yeah. messianic prophecy yeah. that Jesus is wholesale fulfilling. Jesus is also a prophet. Rather than Muhammad, one minute, rather than Muhammad claiming that he's in the Old Testament and New Testament, we can't find him anywhere and he's not mentioned anywhere. The in fact, every, the everywhere you love, show me where he's mentioned. The only point it's actually pointing to Jesus. No worries. The only point I was making was that if you made the claim, I hear Christians make this claim all the time, that your right. prophet came 600 years later or 500. He was born 570, right? So 500 years later, okay? Right. And then, but I'm just saying I could put the same thing back onto you and say that the, the gap between Malachi and Jesus is the same. You see what I'm saying? It's also 500 years. Jesus. Right, but that's the, all I'm saying. The, the all problem with claiming that, bro, is that we have testimony from Jews. These were not just random people. You believe, These were Jews. You believe, you believe. These were even people who were, who were they, they themselves, um, what were they called? Teachers. So they were teachers in the law schools. They left their religion Wait, to embrace who, who Christ. Was the teacher of the law? Te Pharisees, Pharisees were the teachers of the law, and some Pharisees, Pharisees the left their religion and became Christian. Yeah, Pharisees became Christian, yes. Some. Give me some. one, give me one name, give me one name, give me one name, one name. Say again. Who was a Pharisee? Okay. Was a Pharisee? This is and the only name Nic you're going to give me. Nicodemus. Nicodemus as well, obviously. Came to speak to Jesus. Yeah. Nicodemus is a Greek. Nicodemus is a Greek. Look, that's, that's irrelevant to the point. No, you asked where no there's words. a Pharisee, no and words. I've showed you. Yeah, okay. Well, so he Paul, showed you. Right. right. Oh, I don't want to get into Paul now, man. We're going to keep deviating. I'm not deviating. I'm trying to get you to the point where you understand that your, your God affirms the Old Testament. I get your point. All right. And so, so, so what I've, from what I've read here, we've got Al Jalaleng saying that he affirms the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. We've also got Al Kurt to be saying it affirms the Old Testament. Do you know Testament why this verse was revealed? And we've got here, here Ibn Abbas. So I'm going to read this. Oh, Ibn Abbas. Let's hear what Ibn Abbas has to say. And he's being quoted where? Ibn Abbas in this situation. I'm, I'm just getting out because obviously I have to go through the. Do you know if they're going to be showing the game? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I'm not really into football. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I'm, I'm going to read Al Jalalain first, and this is on 691 because it's obviously used. It's, it's, it's used many times by Muslims. That 691 means that the Quran's corrupt. No, the Bible's corrupted. He's not I saying. That one, the one in Surah Bakara as well. 
Okay, so this is, yeah, I've heard of one in Surabaya. Yeah. It's just two nights, two nights, two, two nights, yeah, two nights. Yeah, two nights. So Al Jalal Lang says this: they, that is this, so, says this. so that is the Jews measured not God with his true measure. So they claim that he doesn't, he, he didn't measure God with true. Measure. They have not extended. Wait, who are you calling? Him. Who are you calling? I'm calling Al Jalal Lang. And he's calling Ibn Abbas. Right, it, it doesn't say is. Okay, just keep going. Keep going. Keep that's the thing I've got this on. This is on the Tafsir site, by the way. So really way, way later as well, by the way, just so you know. That's fine. Well, I, I remember Mohammed Jab came in and he quoted Origin. And no, I can say, oh, he's much later. It was 200 no years later. No worries, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I got nothing, sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Al Jalaling. They, that, that is the Jews, measured not God with his sorry. true measure. That is, they have not attained the true knowledge of him. When they said to the Prophet, disputing with him about the Quran, God has not revealed anything to, to any more. Say seven, who revealed the book which Moses brought a light and a guidance for mankind? Question mark. You put it in, in all three instances of verbs, read either the verb, read the first, so this is an interpolation added by the translators. You put it on parchment, that is, you write it down on fragments of notes which you disclose. So they're saying that there's things disclosed. Yeah. But what is disclosed? Ah, right? keep going. All right, so what is disclosed? Is what you choose to so so on, on parchment that is written right I'm going to share with you the hadith that confirms this, by the way. On fragments of notes which you disclose, that is what you choose to disclose thereof. Yeah. But you hide much of what is in them, as of the case of the descriptions of Muhammad. So he's saying, saying about the description of Muhammad as, that as, the Jews, as, as in on top of what you're hiding in this moment. It's, it's well. not saying as. So let me read no, it no, again. You as, that's what saying. That's why he's saying as. All right, that's, so that's not really. A, that doesn't demolish your point. That's not, you know, I'm not. That on the part that point. is, you write down on fragments of notes which you disclose is what you choose to disclose thereof. But you hide much of what is in them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, right, you're yeah. right, you're right. No worries, no worries. Keep going, keep going, keep going. In the case of the descriptions of Muhammad. And you have been taught, old Jews, in the Quran, what you did not know. So this is still talking about Muhammad. This isn't right. talking about anything to stop. Right. Yeah. No, neither you nor your fathers in the Torah, through the elucidation therein of what you were, confused about and dis over disagreement. Say God revealed it, and if they do not say it, there, there is no other response. So he's saying basically, like, if God revealed it, then say, don't have a, don't have a Torah. I get your point. I get your point. No, and and that's, that's my point. If, if you've got a, we've got a Tafsir writer claiming yeah. that this is not... This is not Primarily, the whole thing's corrupt, I mean, at all. It's claiming that the, the things about Muhammad, not in it. And I think I've got Abbas saying the same thing. I'll tell you what Abbas says, all right? So, now the, the reason for this revelation, the, the Asbab al the reason for why it came down, was because when the, when the Prophet was living in Medina, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was living in Medina, in yeah. Medina, right? The right. city, right? They had to make Hijra from Mecca, is that right? Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Right. So he had to go there. Now, he, he had good relations with the Jews at first, at what? first. Okay, until they committed treachery in a few situations. We can get to that later if you want to. Um, when that happened, and they, they used to come to the Prophet in order for him to arbitrate, right? Right. They used to come to him in order, like, if there's a problem going on with this clan, right, we want you to try and sort it out. Right? Try and, you know, help us come to some sort of understanding. So, there was a man who committed adultery. Okay? Right. You know what adultery is, right? Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what adultery is. Someone who's married and then he has a relationship. Yeah, he someone. has relations with another woman who's... Yeah. Okay? Who's What's the punishment of this in the Old Testament? It's a stone. Good. Okay. So, when, when they come to him with the, this Torah, right, and they present it to him, the Prophet, what, what's happening is they're covering up verses. That's why Jalalain says that, that, that they're concealing, right? They're concealing certain verses that are talking about the stoning. Why? Because the Jews, and according to our theology, the Jews kind of, they, they reigned back on sort of the gravity but, but of what the, I understood the from the verse from Abu he's point. saying that they're concealing verses referring to Muhammad. That's why Abbas says that as well. They're concealing I, I'm verses. referring to the, something else. I'm referring I know, to I know your verse is Tafsir, but the other thing with, not, not the Tafsir, the Hadith, sorry. Yeah. I know your verse is Tafsir. And, and but the problem, he confirms this Tafsir as well. The problem with the Hadith, that, that same problem with that hadith is, there is a hadith that clearly states that Muhammad was bought a Torah, sets his down, he says, I believe in you and the one who sent you. Yeah, yeah, you guys, he doesn't say he puts his hand on it, but he, he points to it and says, I, yeah, believe, I believe in you and the one who you. revealed you. But the obvious question is, what was a Torah back then? We know what a Torah is, but through history, good, good, the Torah good. was the Old Testament. When the, prophet, when the Prophet says that about this Torah, okay, or whatever, we don't know if it's the full thing. Remember, I told you the story about the man who committed adultery, right? When he's referring to that, he's referring to the injunction of adultery in this verse. That this is, Remember, we don't believe all of the, of the Old Testament is corrupted. Oh, sorry, the Tanakh is corrupted. We don't believe that. We believe maybe a lot of it is, hmm. or maybe half of it, or something like that. We believe that there is corruption. However, in this situation, he's referring to the injunction for adultery that I believe in this, and I believe in the one who revealed it, right? Because no, 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 he's not saying that. He's pointing at a Torah. What he, this is what he isn't pointing at an induction, injunction. I he know is, what that's what you think he was no, meant by. That's what it, that's but he's not hadith. pointing at an injunction. That's not what the hadith said. It said that. he's pointing to the Torah and he's saying, I believe in I you and the one who sent I understand. you. I understand, but this hadith is referring to And it's to obvious. It's obvious from the Quran, bro. And I can show you many of the verses. I can show you verse after verse where Allah is seemingly quoting a book and saying 
We believe in you and the one who sent you, and we sent down this revelation. We sent down this revelation. In fact, it says in Surah 29, Oh, I didn't get back 46. to the, um, uh, the one about, you said, um, the, the Injil, right? The Injil and the Torah, confirming. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're okay, talking about Surah 548, yeah. I'm going to use Qurtubi for this, by the way. <laughs> so, what Qurtubi says... Oh, I'm going to get Qurtubi up one minute. ...is that this, this, this instruction is referring to, to the, the people of Ahl Injil. You're not Ahl Injil, right? You, you follow another book that came later. We believe in a preserved book that we no longer have. Today. You're, you're claiming that I follow oh, yeah, another I'm book. Not, I'm, I'm is that what is that what Al Kurtz says? Yes, he says this. Yes, he doesn't he says, say that. He says that the Istic Nath. No, no, no. no. One second, he one doesn't say I'm, that I'm, that I'm, Christians I'm, are following a different book. I know that because I've read it. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it out to you here. You can continue to talk. Continue to talk. I'll listen to you. But I'm gonna get up just to show you what Kurt Kurtz actually says. Because I don't I don't want you to go out of context. You know what I'm saying? But go on, go on, go on, continue. No, no, I'm just saying that the Arabic language is quite complicated. So what the Istik Naf in that verse, when it's talking about Ahlul Injil, it's going back in time. You see what I'm saying? It's talking about those Ahlul Injil, they were supposed to follow what was revealed before them and what were the injunctions of the New Testament or the Injil, right? right. Now, I don't believe, obviously, I'm, I'm making a fallacious equivocation here when I say New Testament Injil, because I, I personally don't believe it's the same thing, okay? Maybe, maybe like 1%, 2% might have made it so well, I'm, I'm not focused on what you believe, I'm, I'm focused on what, what these Tafsir this is, this writers is what believe. The tafsir, this is what old Mufasas say. Okay, They're so I'm, what I'm saying. whilst I'm trying to get up, I'm just going to remind you that these, these verses here are clearly claiming there was a book at a time. For example, at the time of Muhammad, there were Jews and Christians, correct? Yeah. So in Surah 1097, not, and I'm, I'm not jumping, not, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to get back so to the point. That point you made, the, yes, there were Jews and Christians, but they weren't all, they weren't a monolith, right? They weren't all the same Jews, same Christians. Quran mentions that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, they're not there, like there one was, another. Yeah? There was different types of Jews, different yeah, yeah. And some were heretics. They, 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 some were heretics. Yeah, there were some that were, that were heretics, yeah. I grant you that. Yeah, yeah. But that, that still doesn't change there the point. There were all the sorts of things the Arabian The Bible remains the Bible, regardless of whether they're heretics or not. Fine, if you believe that, no problem. It's not what I believe, it's just the way it is. Okay, so in Surah 1097, for example, it's Muhammad, no, no, Muhammad is told to read the scripture that was before him, right? He's, he's told to read, if you've got any doubts, read, ask people in this book that were before you, right? There was clearly people present who had read the, the book before him, right? Yeah. So we're now, now we're looking at it historically, right? We've got our earliest text on the, um, not the Septuagint, but we've got the, we've got the Sinaiticus, we've got the Vaticanus. These all match nearly to a T. There's, 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 there's variants. Yeah. I understand there's variants, but they match near enough to the text we've got now. They do match, since we've got now. There's variants, I can agree there's variants. James White says there's variants. There's 400,000 variants. So there's, more, fine. there's more variants than there are words. Fine, well, well, if you want to believe that, that's fine. I, I, but Bartomeu again, what well, Bartman also says, that those variants do not change the canon of text. So if you've, if you've heard what Bartman says, then, no, it says, and I don't know why your opinion is about Bartman either, because Bartman, yeah, yeah, I know, know Bartman really know. doesn't believe your religion is from no, God. I know, but I know that. Also, he doesn't, believe, he, he believes that your Jesus is a full Jesus and the Christian Jesus is the right one. So it's like, well, no, he doesn't believe in your Jesus. I'm no, he doesn't, he, he doesn't believe in him, no, 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 but he, he believes he believe existed way, in the Christian paradigm. No, he doesn't believe in your Christological Jesus. He believes in a man maybe named Jesus. Yeah. He was uh, born regularly and he was, you know, you know, and he was crucified. I know, I know, but he believes, he believes mostly in the Christology Jesus. Away from the Quranic Jesus, one minute, away from the Quranic Jesus, who's, who's clearly didn't die on a cross. Yeah, didn't yeah, die on a right. cross, yeah, that's we, what I said. This is where we diverge with him. Well, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. I don't believe everything that Bardem says. I'm just appealing to him for the 400,000 variants. But if you appeal to him, then you're going to have to be honest and appeal to everything no, 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 that's not true, that's not true, I don't have to. Well, you do. No, I don't. Who says that? Who Look, says no, that? no, honestly, if you're going to appeal to somebody like a textual scholar, but hold on, here, hold on, here, here's where it gets serious, because if you're going to appeal to somebody like a textual scholar, why won't you do the same for your Quran? What do you mean? Well, well if, you, if, if people are by him and saying, look, the historical Jesus wasn't the one found in the Quran, I've got a quote here on my phone from, from by him saying that. No problem. What, what, you, you, don't, you, you literally believe, you believe in 1% that I, that I isn't believe, true. I believe in that aspect of 400,000 variants because he can prove it empirically. Right, but saying? you're just picking and choosing what you I believe. Am. Yeah, you're right, correct, I am, yes, yes. And here comes the dog. The dog's gonna come right here for this. It's not a dog. J J C is a good man. JC, not J C. The dog's gonna come now when I do the, with the statement <laughs> I just said. Go on. Yeah. Uh, J C, you know who I am in it, but I'm not gonna tell you who I am. You know who I am though. I, I don't know who he is. No, I, mean, no, I, I think I've seen you before, no, you've but never seen me. you've never seen me. I think I have, but I can't remember where. No, you wouldn't have seen me. I've got a good memory, man. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to get up. <laughs> Sorry. So this is, I think this is a Tafsir from Al Mikbas, but I'm, I'm going to get that up one minute. Al who, sorry? Tanwir Al Mikbas. I don't know I'll, 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 sh I'll show you what it says anyway. Come on. Oh, sorry, sorry, no. Oh, this is annoying. 
Yeah. Look, what, what I'll do, because this phone is playing not yes, right now, and it's, it's really annoying me. What I'll do is I'll try, I'll try to speak to more another day, and I'll try and be yeah, no more. No worries, no worries. But at the end of the day, like, yeah, the yeah. thing is with Al, Al Kirby, and this is what I read from Al Kirby, and you can read it out yourself. Yeah, yeah, no prove me wrong next time, we'll, we'll show you. Right? But Al Kirby's basically saying the word Mahime, it literally, it means overseer, that's what he's saying. But what he doesn't mean is that it's a goal. He doesn't mean that, that it's, it, in the, in the same way you believe that confirmed means, oh, this is basically, these, these books are basically like overshadowed by this one. And the principles in this one, we're supposed to follow. Like it, it's an overseer, so it, whatever is, doesn't right. align with the... His action. view wasn't that. His view that it, it confirms no worries, it. No worries. His view that it was that it confirms what is written in it. And it claims to have, uh, have that it's original from it. It's, it claim, it's claiming that it's original from it, and it confirms what's with it. I don't know that Kotobi says that. And that's what, that's what, well, I've, I've read it in Kirby. That's what I'm no trying worries, to get up I'm taking your word for it. I'll read it. I'll get the Arabic as well. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem, because we're going to have to read in it. Of course, anyway. of course. So, we'll, so, we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that point. I don't believe he says that, Also, if you say it... Also, just one just one more thing before I go. Before I go. But I want one thing. I want to say one thing. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Let me just, just one more thing before I go. Because I've been looking at this for a while. I've got plenty of verses. There's not just one verse. There's many verses that confirm the, the, the Torah and the Gospels, right? But this, I think, is more clear than any of them. Because we know, in, obviously, in Surah 6, 34, that no one can alter the words of Allah, correct? Yeah. No one can. Uh, of the Quran, yeah. Well, it's saying the words of Allah. It doesn't the say the Quran. The Quran yeah. It doesn't say Quran. In this context, it's referring to the Quran. It doesn't say the Quran. I've got the interlinear. What does it say, then? What is it referring to? It's saying the book. Now we go into the words. What's the book then? No, the book's the Quran, no? Not, not in every instant, no. What is Quran? Because mean? it says in the Quran that Moses was given a book. No was Moses given the Quran? Yeah, no, he was given the Torah. The Torah. But it, but it's so does it say that Moses was given the Torah in the Quran? It says he's given the Torah, yeah. Can you show me that verse? That Moses was given the Torah? Yeah, because it doesn't say that in the Quran. It doesn't say Moses was given the Torah. I, I've got a bunch of verses, but it doesn't say Moses was given the Torah. Because I, I would have actually brought it up if that was the case. But well, what's wrong? What, what's, what, what would be wrong with that? No, the, it says the book, the book. It's not mentioned in the Quran. It says just the book. In fact, it, I've got Surah 2, 44 to 41, and this is what the truth of Israel gives. So it says... I think that might be 287. Um, Surah Al-Maida. Surah Al-Maida. Yeah. All right. Uh, we sent Isa ibn Maryam after those prophets confirming the Torah. That was revealed before him. Oh, I see. You, so you're saying that it was—it doesn't mention Moses. It doesn't mention Moses, okay. no. But then there's a. Okay, I see. All right, no problem. The, the problem is it doesn't mention Moses. Clearly, it doesn't say Moses was given the Quran. Not the Quran. It doesn't say Moses was given no the Torah. No worries. It's Clearly. just not. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not a problem. It's not so, right. That, 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 this, I'm saying this verse is referring to the Quran. What does yeah. Quran mean? Do you know? Uh, it, mean, it means the reminder, yeah, the revelation, recitation. So revelation, so recitation. recitation yeah. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're yeah, having a conversation. Bro. I educate you in Christianity, so you'll come to Christianity, Inshallah. you'll come to Christ, Inshallah. and you'll stop being a Muslim. Stop being a Muslim, bro. No, I don't let. Go okay, on, so I, I, I want to just finish off with this verse, and then we, whatever questions you've got. Yeah, I, I just want to say one thing. Just one thing. So, like, we've got, we've got sort of three verse four, three to four. It says this: Allah sent down the Torah and the Gospel. And if you want me to read it in full, do you want me to read it in full? Okay. Oh, don't, don't let him dive it, don't let him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's just going to dive it. I don't know what he's talking about anyway, so it's fine. He's talking about semantics. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Okay, so this is Surah 3 to 4. He hath revealed unto thee, Muhammad, the scripture with truth. It doesn't say Muhammad, that's a bracket. The scripture with truth, confirming that which was revealed before it, even as he revealed the Torah and the Gospel. Right? So it's, it's, it's evident from the context, and I've read the context, that this is referring to those exact books. We've got verse after verse saying this book. It's, it's not something alien. Now, my, my argument is, if we've got so much verses claiming that there was a Torah and a Gospel present, and we know historically... An we don't know if it was but, a Gospel, an Injil. Yeah, yeah Injil or Gospel, yeah. But, and we know historically that there was, there was something called the Gospel and something called the Torah. What? We also know historically that there was a Gospel of Matthew written in Hebrew, but we don't have it anymore. So there, right. there are, we also know historically there was a Q source, but we don't have those anymore. Do you see what I'm saying? Right, right. But Q is a book of quotes anyway, so that doesn't that doesn't really refute the, the point of I'm trying to make. Right? It's a book of quotes. quotes. So yeah, we have quotes from the um, the well, not the fathers, we, but we, from, don't, we don't know. That's yeah, that's we it. don't know that. But what, what I'm trying to tell you is this: yeah? it was evident there is some body of text. We have Bible because we have Sinaiticus. I have no problem with that. We have all these texts, 
And what's happening is 500 years later. It doesn't need to be a book, you know that, right? It doesn't have to be a book. Like a, a book like this. Remember, the Quran was not a book. It wasn't. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. It was, it was recitations over time. I understand what you're saying, but that's not my this point. It could be referring to that as well. But it still refers to the Quran. I, I, don't, I don't believe it's referring to the Quran because it's saying the Torah and the Gospel. It doesn't say the Quran. Yeah, right. yeah, so what, what was revealed it's, to those people? Yeah, what was revealed to those people? It doesn't necessarily mean what was written down. But, but listen, at the end of the day, like, what we see throughout the Quran is basically Allah saying, I've sent something down. Yeah. And the Jews and the Christians, it also says in the Quran, are to judge by what I have sent down. Judge between what is, be what is between them. It also in, says in that, that in, five, in 546, it actually says, Baini Yadehi, you've heard of Baini Yadehi. What is between your hands, you should judge. It doesn't mean a book though. That, that, that doesn't mean a book. So what else would it be? It, the, the scholars have said this, this could also just mean sort of the information that was given. What was nezalt, what was brought down. It doesn't have to be a book, what was between your hands, it's not I think it's clear from the evidence that it is a book. Because again, we've got, we've got Muhammad claim. Evidence, the evidence, we've got Muhammad claim, and we've got even Allah claiming that it was a book that he sent out yeah, to Moses. Al Kitab doesn't necessarily mean the book that we have today, as in an actual like tangible book. Right? Right. A book can also mean something that's memorized. But, there were, but during that time, bro, remember the Muslims this, memorized everything. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But during that time, there was only two. There was only one book called the Torah and the Gospel. There was only there, there was well, not one book, but there was only two bodies of literature called the Torah and the Gospel. Right? That's what we call Remember it. The, the four not, the whole, not the whole, uh, it's not like ne Nebiyam and the... Uh, yeah, yeah, the the tenet, tenet, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, that's why Jesus affirms it. And Jesus affirms it. Well, but, but, but we can get into that later. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, the Torah itself, the Torah itself is being confirmed by your God. The Gospel the itself. The, what, what we call the Gospel in the Greek... The, in the, in the, yeah, one minute, one minute. What we call the Gospel, the Gospel would have been called the book. So the book, it would have been called the book because they, how, how, uh, sorry, how the New Testament writers saw it is that all these Gospels are one compilation, they're the book. So that's how they saw it. They saw so it. The, old, the, the New Testament writings are the book. And when, so when we see Allah saying, that I've sent down a book in truth, the book, we can only interpret this as, oh, we sent down this book. But it's also mentioned in the Gospel and the Torah. These two things were not, there's no other interpretation of the Torah and the Gospel. He well, says, and I will prove it to you, I'll show it to you. Okay, so he, he, what he's saying is that, what he's basically saying is that there were these books, there's no others. You, you're confirming well, what was two, before. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's talking yeah. about these two books. It's talking about these two books. Yeah, yeah. these two books, the Torah and the Gospel. Those are the books that came before Muhammad, and those are those are the books that they, the the Christians, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Muslims are supposed to, to refer to, and the Christians are supposed to look to. Now, what? What does Torah mean? The actual word Torah in Hebrew. What does it mean? Torah. Um, it means the law. No, nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's the law, all right? Yeah. So when Allah is confirming the Torah, He's confirming the laws. So remember, we're going back to the Hadith about the guy covering up the, the verses about stoning. No, no, I know what you're talking we about. Agree with those laws. So the the Ten Commandments isn't called the law by Jews. It's, it's, called, it's called a law, it is a law, yeah, yeah, it's a law. but it's, it's not specific, it's not the, whole law. the Torah yeah, itself, the, whole. the Torah itself, and that's why it's trying to say that way now, yeah, yeah. is still the whole book of the, of the Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Exodus, all that. But it still means law though, it means law. It, is it law. means law, I understand, yeah, it I, I, law. I agree with you. Yeah, I'm not that's saying there means. are other things that like, you know, it tells a story about Adam and you know, no one, I understand The fact that. is from when we yeah. see Allah claiming to the Christians and Jews at the time, believing what you've sent to you, like, like follow what's in your hands basically. He's telling them to follow something, a scripture that they've already got. Now it comes 600 years later after Jesus. What are they following? Say again? Oh, now, what are they following? Yeah, what are they following? What are the Christian and Jews following in the Arabian Peninsula? Yeah. We don't know. We don't have any information about that. Historically, if you ask me, we don't actually know what they had. Remember, Warakha bin Nawfal, Warakha bin Nawfal, the, um, the, I think she, he was the uncle of Khadija. Yeah, yeah, I know what yeah, you know who he is. Yeah. Yeah, I know you Christians like uh, Warakha bin Nawfal because you make it. Well, he was a Nestorian, so I know I don't yeah, like him. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Nestorians, they're not a monolith either. There are many different nuances to what they believe. Like, right, but they, they still believe, they still they still go to the Bible for their, their heresy. Good, good. Even if it's wrong, yeah. they still go to the Bible what for their language, heresy. What language was Warakha, uh, Warakha bin Nawfal writing his, his gospel in? Because the Hadith mentions that he's writing what I'd have, to, I'd have to go through the, the Hadith again, because yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say, oh, it was, it was an English, French he, or whatever. That's, that's irrelevant. No, it's not irrelevant. He was writing in Hebrew. You guys don't have a single manuscript of but anything. I'm not. I'm not using Warakha bin bin Nafa as my I'm my using, pinpoint. I'm not using that. I'm you using, are. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the problem it. is, I'm no, focusing on your Quran. I'm not me, focusing on the Hadith or Warakha. No, no, no. I'm focusing on the Quran, and the Quran's claiming that there was two books: the Gospel and the Angel. Right? Did, did Warakha write the Quran? No, we didn't. No, of course not. But I'm not. I'm not making that claim. Right. I'm telling you, you. You said to me that they didn't. The only books they would have had in the Arabian Peninsula are what we have today. That's right. the point you're making. Maybe not exactly, but it's not exactly the point. Something to that that affects what you're saying. I'm making the point that Warakha bin Nawfal was writing according to a hadith. 
he was writing a gospel of what that he remembered of what he could remember. That's the that's what the um the hadith says of what he could remember in Hebrew. I remember the point I brought earlier with I don't remember which early church father, but he said that your gospel of Matthew initially was written in. Hebrew. So there could be a text that you guys don't well, have But remember, as I told you, we, we focus on the Septuagint. The, se the 70 Greeks who translated. The, the 70 Jews the Old Testament. Testament. It's the Old Testament. It's the Old Testament. I'm not focused on that. But, but, but we are focused on that as well because he confirms that as well. And as, 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 as I've said before, this God is Wait, confirming. What, what confirms that? What, what, what confirms the Old Testament? So it's the, well, the Torah is the, the Torah is the Old Testament. It's part of the Old Testament canon. What's that? The Septuagint. Well, yeah, it's part of the Septuagint as well. Yeah. But the Torah is the Torah is basically what your God's confirming. Do you, do you think the Quran is referring to the Septuagint when it says Torah? I believe the, the Quran is referring to the Torah or the law that was sent to the Mo, to Moses. That's what he's, that's what he's saying. Yeah, that we agree he hasn't that. said Torah, yeah. granted, but he said he sent a book to Moses. Who was Moses? Historically, Moses was found in the Bible. Historically, we've got we've got we've got um, rhymes of Moses written hundreds of years before Muhammad. It's obvious he's claiming something. We, we can't shine away from oh, the historical yeah, yeah, evidence. There, no, no, we keep running from that. Yeah, we keep claiming, no, oh, well, Ra Rarifa said see. this. Yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't matter. No, no, we've got, we've got historical claims. We've got historical claims made by, by, by Muhammad and God Allah that the book itself, the Quran, is confirming the Torah and the Gospel. We've got to understand what these things are. I'm trying I to tell you that historically, point. they are the Torah and the Jews had because that's what it's saying. That's why the term used by every, every author, every translator of the Quran, every, nearly everyone, is claiming that those are Christians from the Sahara, right? Those are Christians, and it's came in those are Jews. Yeah. Yeah. The Nazarenes, the ones who existed, the Ahna and Jeel, the ones that were back then, not you. Right, not but, but yeah, here's, here's the thing. The Nazarenes didn't Nazarene? invent... Here's the thing. The Nazarenes didn't invent the new book. They didn't invent a new book. You Second, don't, that's the, you don't know. And we don't know who these Nazarenes are. You've made you that claim. Know, exactly, you don't know. Yeah, but here's the thing. You've made that claim. You've made a claim that was some fringe group, yeah, they that Nazarene. But here's, here's, here's even a problem for that, for that position, yeah? Because Allah says in chapter 3, verse 55 of the Quran, yeah, that it will make Jesus and his followers possible for all time. So where are the Nazarenes? No, no, where are the Nazarenes? Huh? Where are the Nazarenes? The Nazarenes are not being referred to here. They were victorious through us. This is what every Ibn Abbas says this. But you don't follow Jesus. Huh? You don't follow according Jesus. According to you, yes. According no, to no, you, you don't follow Jesus. According to you. Not even yes. according to me. You don't follow Jesus. You follow Muhammad, the teachers of Muhammad. We, you we have a deal with Muhammad. You don't follow all the prophets. You follow Muhammad. According to you, yes. We follow all it the prophets. It has nothing to do with me. The Quran clearly states that Jesus and his followers will be, will be superior until the last day. Jesus and his followers. You don't follow Jesus. You don't even pray to Jesus. You pray to Muhammad. Of course we don't pray to either of them. We pray to God. And we, we follow Jesus because we pray to the God that he prayed to. So do you mention Muhammad in your prayers then? Do I mention him? I also mention Ibrahim in my prayers as well. Ibrahim. Abraham. I mentioned him in You his mention him in your prayers. But in, in, the in, the in the traditional, in the traditional salam alaikum, all that stuff, yeah. do they mention Muhammad every time? Salam alaikum doesn't have Muhammad in it. I'm not talking about salam I'm saying salam alaikum, the, the, the prayers, the five prayers each day. Allah salam alaikum. Allah said Muhammad this one? Yeah, Muhammad Rasulullah, because you, you always, always, always have to mention that Muhammad is yeah, a prophet. And we, and we, but you don't mention Jesus every time. You don't. No, we don't mention Jesus. We mentioned Ibrahim. We mentioned Abraham. But then you're not following Jesus. Because the Quran clearly says, those who are so following Jesus. Do we follow oh, hold Abraham? on, hold on. Do we follow Abraham? One minute. The Quran is clearly saying the followers of Jesus will be superior until the last day. We are the followers of Jesus. But you can't be the followers of Jesus because you don't follow Jesus. You follow Muhammad. Muhammad, according to your Quran, is the last prophet. Yeah, I'm telling you what the the, the tafsir is. So you're not I'm even following you. Jesus. So how is that consistent? I'm explaining to you what the classical scholars have said about the verse. If you don't want to take it, no problem. I'm reading the book for what I it is. I know, and you're reading it in English as well, which is in the, uh, the, the well, that, That's irrelevant because the it's translators, the translators were Muslims. They went to universities. They studied these things. They know what they translated. Can, look, if you and I understand there has been interpolation in the text because I've seen certain texts which don't match up with others. Yeah. What? So this should but, be indicative but, to you. But that doesn't mean that they didn't know what they were doing and they were writing down certain things. And That's these are scholars. You yourself appeal to scholars. You appeal to Tafsir Ibn Abbas. You appeal to Al Qurtubi. Again, you uh, can't use this. Yeah, but it's a bit later, so you know. You can't use this argument that the text itself is pure and magical and nobody can see what it says. They've translated I'm, I'm it. I'm not making that point. I never said that. No, but the, the, the point you're, you're saying, no, but the point you're, you're, you're trying to make is that I need to know the Arabic to know exactly what's what's. Look, look, here's my, let me explain. Let but me these explain. people knew Arabic. I understand. So what I'm you're saying is they're liars. No, no, no. Your translators are liars. Even Kafir. I'm saying all of them are just liars, and we should trust anybody. Listen, listen. If you don't have access to the original language of something, you yourself, myself, if I don't speak the language, we are slaves to the translation. That's that's the point I'm making. We will never have the most exact rendering that verse unless we are not only able to speak that language but we are conversant in that in that but book's even, language even here this way it gets tough because even when people like christian prince and others read the arabic you must often say that they're liars or that they don't have access to the old arabic oh, you know, 
think Christian Prince has been refuted so many times. Go, go, watch. <laughs> He's been, been refuted. Oh, man. Look, read through. Look, if you don't believe me. But this is what I mean. I'm not Arabic, and, and, and here's the thing. You're it's saying that I need to know Arabic. It's two Arabs but he knows Arabic. Over the same thing. There's two yeah. Arabs. Farid and there's Christian Prince. Two of them. Watch both of them and come to a conclusion. That's all I'm saying to you. I haven't watched Farid, bro. You watched all of Farid. I haven't watched every video, bro, because well, I'm not going to do that. He does the video of like a hundred things, bro, right? the, the guy did a video, basically, where, where he tried to say that, that people didn't see the moon was splitting because it was night time. No, that's not the only explanation he gave. That was one of the... I don't know about the others, but that's one of the... But that's a Can stupid a explanation. Maybe. But anyway, back to the point, bro. The point I was trying to make was in regards to the translations, bro. These translators are Muslims. They're not just going to turn up, take their God's word and interpret it how they want. That. I'm not disputing that. So again, you've I'm, got a problem I'm here. Saying, I'm saying that I'm not blaming them for anything. I'm saying that even though you have a translation, the translation is not that text. It is a translation of the meaning. You see what I'm saying? You are a slave to the translation until you are able to actually but understand everybody that everybody who isn't a Muslim is. So what you're saying is basically, I need to be Arabic to believe in your God. Of course, you have to believe. You, you, wait, hang on, wait. <laughs> hit me out, hit me out. No, no, wait, wait. You need that to- is, That is really- no, no, uh, What do the Jews say to you? I'll, I'll wrap up in a minute, sorry. Yeah, no problem, no problem. What do the Jews say to you? The Jews say to you that you guys make so many mistakes with the text, why? Because you are not conversant in Hebrew and Tanakh language. But they believe that. But the problem is we've got Jews. Our earliest Christian scholars were Jews. The earliest name one, Christians name were one, Jews. Name one, name one. We got Peter, Paul, all the followers Peter? of John, all the followers of Peter, all the followers. Peter couldn't even write. What are you talking about? What do you mean he couldn't write? Did, you, did you know that? Mark had to write his gospel for him. Did you? What, show did me that Mark, in the Bible. Show, show me that in the Bible. Okay, so you're solace control then. I'm, I'm asking you, show me that in the Bible. Are you solace control? Why? Well, it depends what tradition, because I'm not like. Papius, Papius. Who? Papius. 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 Yeah, whatever. So you've got one, one supposed church. Well, he's the earliest one. Papius. He's the earliest. That doesn't matter. There were there were church well, fathers like origin. No, no, one minute, one minute, one minute. There were church fathers like origin who claimed the only Christians saved are the 144,000 sealed in Revelations. We don't believe in that. So if, if Papias says something, it doesn't mean I have to believe it's true. And you show me one church father. I don't agree with that. There has to be a consensus. It's called the consensus patron. We have to believe in the consensus of what church fathers say, no not just Papias one. Says. No one disputed Papias. That's irrelevant. No one disputed him in this fact, so how is it irrelevant? It's Papias irrelevant says, to my point. Did my, hang on, who wrote, did, was? You're changing called, the topic again. Called, no, I'm sorry, not, I'm you're, you're changing it. the point again. 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 Because is the, the point was called, one. Look, is the gospel called Mark? Is the first gospel called Mark? That's what they believe on theory. No words. Okay, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew Mark. Yeah. They attribute no it to Mark because okay. what's written in Paul's letters. Got it, yeah, because adoptionist, they believe it's an adoptionist text. I got it, but whatever, yeah. Okay. But that wasn't the point I'm making. You're changing the point. Who's Mark? He's Who's changing Mark? the point. Just Who's don't let him run because you're changing the point, bro. I just want to finish. We were on the Quran Who's and the gospel. Interpreter oh, yeah, he's talking about Peter, 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 but he was, yeah. he was around Paul at that okay, time as well. No problem, no problem. Okay, no problem. Before that, before that, what was I even saying anyway? What was the point this is what I mean, you've changed the topic. Okay, oh no, I was just saying. The, I was the, just saying the topic Mark... was on the Quran and the Gospel, right? Yeah, yeah. Your, your argument was that you need to know the exact, the exact Arabic to know the translation of the Quran. I'm not you disputing that there, there could be things hidden in the translation. My dispute is, is in the fact that we've got translators, right, who knew the Arabic, who studied it. These weren't just idiots who decided to pick up a Quran, read it, and go. Yeah, no, I get no. Point. I get These were people who studied at University of Medina, some of them. Some of them, not all of them. Which one? Who? Oh, so it was either... Not Sahih International. No, no, it wasn't Sahih International, obviously. It was either Arbery or it was either um, Pickford, William Pickford. Pickford, William Pickford was an English... Uh... No, he wasn't in University of Virginia, he wasn't. Right, but, but, but one, of, one, of them, one of them did, one of them did. So yeah, like, okay, it was fine. either Yusuf Ali, I think it was Yusuf Ali. I'll have to look for you, Yeah, you can check it we'll online. Check, check it up, yeah, Soko family. Check it up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. The um, fact is, these people knew their Arabic. They knew what they were studying. They weren't just going to look, the book. Really so you're, the, no, but your problem, the problem with that is, bro, is that you're basically telling me that I can't trust any of your scholars. I can't trust you because uh, how, how can I trust what you're saying? I can't trust the Muslim scholars you translated for. Well, how can I trust them? That's, that's translated in English as well. The scholars, the scholars. This is a different. The scholars can give explanations of things. You see, what I'm saying based on other texts like Hadith and Tafsir and these things. But do you, do you not see the network of, of, of basically footsteps after going? This is not. This is not I, I, if I was to become a Muslim, right, yeah. and I wanted to know about the bodies of the text, I wanted to know the truth behind it. I couldn't just read the text and find out basically what it's saying. Correct. I couldn't just correct. do that. Yes, correct. I would have to go through tons of tafsirs, yes. tons of hadith, and you keep getting just knowledge, to knowledge, get knowledge, knowledge, just right. to get to a point where I find out how discrep discrepancy is, how, how much discrepancy is in it, and how contradictory it is. According to you, yeah. According well, to well you not, not according to me. If you read the Quran, it's basically saying that the Quran confirms the Bible. That's what it's saying. Well, we've been on through this point. Uh, I think no, I've no, already but we were already on that point, and then you yeah. moved to another point. You're talking about Mark I, and Matthew and John. I just have one thing to say. One thing to say. Right. Do you believe that the Bible is infallible? 
Do I believe it's infallible? Um, New Testament. I know. I know Bob has a different understanding, and uh, he's, a, he's ecumenical Christian, whatever. Well, what I know. Yeah, I know. What, do you believe it's inerrant, infallible? Is the Bible yeah, inerrant, yeah, infallible? Yeah, yeah, New Testament. Yeah. New Testament. Yeah, it depends what you so mean. So, like, there's no contradictions or. There are things that can appear so. Yeah. But, but if you take out more context. Yeah. No yeah. worries. So, so, so it's the word of God. Yeah. It's, it's the word of God. Like, right. like you believe. But, but, what we, but, but hold on, one minute, one. Right. But yeah. the Old Testament. You what we believe. Same, same, yeah. One minute, bro. What we believe by the Old Testament, right, is that that, that wasn't a re that wasn't 100 re real revelation of God. A lot of Muslims will come to us and say, look at these Old Testament texts where there's violence and stuff. But God, God initially in the Quran, in, in the Bible, sorry, in the Bible. Actually, actually, is grieved at the actions of Israel and what they're doing. He compromises with Israel and their actions. Right? I just, I just, I just want to let you know. Where does God condemn the killing of uh, kids? No, he, he comp what he does is compromises with their nature. These people and their nature. And again, that goes against your Quran. Because if you're going to say, if you're going to say that where does God condemn the killing of this and that, right? Then read Surah two, for, verse no, two, verse two hundred forty-nine. What does it say? And literally, literally, I've got translators and, and tafsirs as well, by the way. Saying that that first Samuel was mentioned there, but Sam, Samuel was mentioned as a prophet there, and okay. that they were they were to go out and to fight. They were commanded to go out and fight. fight. But it doesn't say they killed little babies and. Rape, it says the Amalekites, bro. Rape, I mean, rape we've got. To, well, it doesn't say the Amalekites in there. It says the Amalekites. Ibn, Ibn Abbas or uh, Ibn Abbas was Al Jalalain, who says that it's um, referring to Amalekites, and the Amalekites were the one who ones who had initially attacked Israel in Exodus, and yeah, that's why. Four hundred years God, before that, the killing was commanded. To take, right, but but they they'd continuously done that after that generation as well. It, it didn't just happen where no, no, God no, said, four, no, no, hold on one minute, because you haven't read it." So I, have, but, I know what it says. Okay. So so so, so what's it saying in Exodus seventeen? Oh, I don't know exactly. You can't you can't quote well, that. But you got you like got that. to take these into account because no, I again. Can say anything to you? What does Daniel five seven say? But, but again, no, I, I, I know I know the whole com I know the, story, the story of Daniel, so I know what. I, I know the story of Exodus as well. So. Right, if you know the story of Exodus, yeah, right, yeah. you know the whole story of Exodus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the Amalekites attacked the children of Israel, correct? They did, correct, yes, yeah. yes, yes. They came out and attacked them. And what, from what behind, does God from say? Behind, from behind, yes. From behind. And, and what, what else did they do? They attacked their children and their women as well. Fine, no problem. Yeah, because yeah. He, he actually says in 1 Samuel, that's why King Agag, the king of the um, Amalekites, he was killed for killing mothers and killing children. He says that in 1 Samuel 15 33. From my memory. So, so th then you're basically justifying. I'm not. I'm not justifying. I don't have to justify. Children, you can kill their children. No, I'm not justifying that at all. What I'm saying is that God brought down these laws. God, God didn't brought down these laws. What I'm saying is God compromised with Israel. Israel at a time were a barbaric nation, right? And they weren't going to follow God to the T. So what God said, you know what? You follow these laws. You walk with me, then I walk with you. He sends down ten commandments: love thy neighbour as yourself, love thy God with all thy heart. But there's also other commandments as well, instituted for them only in their nation, right? In instances, in situations, if these things happen, right? Okay. Again, these commandments were, were basically given to a barbaric nation because of the acts of another. Thing, because of the acts of another barbaric you're nation. You're one thing. You're one th <laughs> no, no, no. You're forgetting one thing, though. God also says, I believe it's in Deuteronomy. I might be wrong. I could be wrong here. Right. He says that um, these laws will last forever. No, he's, ta he's talking about the Old, the Old Testament laws, not yeah, the covenant, yes. not the covenant, not the Levitical covenantal laws, not the laws given to Israel at that time. That's, that's he's talking about the Ten Commandments. The rabbis don't understand it this way. He's talking about the Ten Commandments. That's he's what he's talking, talking about. about the old I, I'm not appealing to rabbis, bro. This Torah will be with you till the end of time. Here's the thing: I'm not, appeal, I'm not appealing to rabbis, but I'm appealing to the text. So I don't you're care not what rabbis. Appealing to people who can actually speak the language and they know it and it's been in their tradition. There are people. Years. There are people who can speak Arabic who are Christians, bro. No, no, not Arabic. There's people who speak Hebrew who are Christians, bro. And I can appeal to them and they'll agree with me. Again, but my what we what we believe about the Old Testament and just to try and hone in the point because I don't want to last too long. Wait, wait. What we believe about the Old Testament is that the um, the, the New Testament is basically. The line, that's, that's God's fullness of nature, no, right? No, no. And that is basically how we should view the Old Testament. We should view I, I, I the New you, Testament yeah, you, in you, light of the Old Testament. I know. Not the other way around. I we shouldn't get, say that, oh, God commanded these people to kill people, therefore, is it? no, we should review it this way. For the fullness of revelation of Christ, who is God, that's how we view the Old Testament. And that's why we see when God, when, when, God, when nations go against nations, or, or nations go against, against God, God is grieved. He's angry. He's, 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 he's no, he says in the Bible, for example, I'm, going, I'm trying to get the verse up because in my head, he says like he's grieved like a mother, basically, right? Something like that. He makes he, he makes these, I, yeah. I don't know what's going. On. He makes these examples, basically. He's basically making these examples to, to basically show them that I'm grieved. I'm I, I'm upset by what you're doing, but I will allow you to do it in all my love and patience. So. Then at one point you you, you eventually follow my commands when I, when Jesus Christ comes and Christ. Can you show so, me the verse that says exactly what you just said? I can show you many verses that say the Quran. The, so the, the Quran. Uh, the Bible. I, yeah, the Bible. You hear too much, man. That's yeah, I know. 
It's, it's because like, I've got so I much know, verses know, in my head. I know, I know. Basically, like, I can show you verses where Jesus is the, is the confirmation of, New Test of the Old Testament. In fact, it says in um, Romans 10.4, for example, Romans 10.4, Jesus Jesus Christ, text, text. you can believe that, Jesus Christ is the end of the law and the prophets. I, so I don't, I don't every that, time, believe that. Right, it's, it's fine, but every time we look at the Old Testament, we don't look at it as if, oh, God commands these things, done. No, we look at it in light of the New Testament of God and what his views are, in light also of the nature of God in the Old Testament and how he viewed these acts. He wasn't always happy with the actions, he allowed them to happen. So, but, but, I'm, I'm just explaining it because a lot of us make stupid things. I know, I know, I know, I know. Only point I'm making, only point I'm making here is, all I want is a verse where God is condemning Samuel, he's condemning Moses, and not commanding it, he's commanding it, right? The fact you can't show me it, look, look, is it wrong to marry more than one woman? Is it wrong to marry one? Is it wrong to marry more Yes, than because God made them male and female one flesh. So David and Solomon were wrong, Jacob was wrong. Yeah, they're wrong. In fact, Abraham in fact, wrong. in fact, David was, was confronted by God, I've got that verse, wait. Why, why was he confronted? He was confronted because he killed Uriah, but he was also confronted for his other actions as well. He was treacherous yeah. in that yeah. situation, but he was Yes, gone. he was. But the point I'm making to you, I understand, you're right. He was, he was, he was condemned for that act. I understand. Right, right. He was condemned for that act. God, I a lot of times, is free by the actions. I know, I know. Show me where God condemns polygamy in your Bible. Polygamy? Where does he condemn the act that David had more than one wife? I want to see where that's condemned. Right, so, well, obviously there are passages in the Bible, in the, in the Quran, yeah? not in the Bible. Because remember, as I said, the New Testament is the light we look through to the Old Testament. So there is nothing in the Old Testament that would condemn it. The Bible. Right, right. Is a verse in the Bible in the New Testament? I don't know the exact one. The one says, flesh one? No, a, a bishop shall be the husband of one wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard right? that's, yeah. that's New so, Testament, right? Yeah, that's in the New Testament. I'm, I'm talking about the Old Testament. Sorry, James. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Old, Old Testament. Yeah. There, there would be no con con My point is on the How long have we been here for? There would be no condemnation oh, of polygamy in the Old Testament. No, no, no. That was my point. That was my point. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to wrap this up anyway. Can I say one more thing? Right, I never right. said, you, you, you answered my question about um, is the New Testament the word of God? You said yes. Yes. Okay. So in Luke, where do the disciples have to go after? Uh, what, what, do, what command does the angel give to Mary about where the disciples should go to meet Jesus that night? What is the command? In Luke, in Luke. You'd have to find it. You have to tell me the passage. I don't even know. What, I, I, I think be, I know what you're talking about. It would be where about. they see the angel, right? It's, it's in all four Gospels. Different in all four Gospels, but it's in all four Gospels. Are you talking about when, when um, they're at Jesus' tomb? Yes. Yes, the tomb. Sorry, I should have been more. Uh... So I have to, I have to now go to, go to the verse now because. Okay, let me let me just in 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 that verse in Luke, he says to him to go to Jerusalem. Sorry, he, the angel tells Mary to go to Jerusalem. Oh, Ali, if you wanna if you wanna actually just break into the conversation. Hey, Ali, man, what's happening, man? Are you serious, bro? Get out of here, man. I'll come speak to you. Ali, 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 no, 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 go. Listen, 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 listen. Yo, I love hate relationship. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Yeah. Uh, what's the I, I don't hate Ali, you just said. No, no, you don't hate no one. You don't hate no one. Listen, in Luke, the angel tells Mary to tell the disciples to go to Jerusalem. In Mark, Matthew, he tells the, the, it, the angel tells Mary to go to Galilee. It, you cannot, and they had to be there that night. Now, I understand with mental gymnastics, intellectual, as Bob likes to say, intellectual gymnastics, right? I don't you, think that's, that could be in, in, in mental gymnastics, because gymnastics, remember, these accounts were written at different times. No, no, no. I'm saying that the angel is saying one location to the disciples right. in one gospel, and then saying another location in another gospel. And this, they can't be both because each but again, I'll, I'll, I'll need exactly. these verses. I'm, I'm, I'm already looking for this verse. Go on, yeah. Because again, when, when we just say this things, is my last start point, things. By the way. We'll, we'll no, no, it's, it's fine, it's yeah. fine. But like, when we just start things, I don't want. I appreciate to... you talking, man. Yeah, no, no, it's Thank no problem, bro. Uh, so, uh, the whole yeah, it's the last point. Last point. Yeah, it's the last point. I'm just trying to get to the verse. I want to see what's happening here. It's a bit mad. So I'm at, I'm at Luke 24 now. I'm trying to look down. Yeah, I'm yeah, take your time. Okay, so I think this is the tomb. So now on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they had they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they prepared. So they prepared spices. Yeah. Which but is a problem in itself, but we'll get into that. Uh, not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that it, behold, they, behold, two men stood by them in the shiny garments. Then as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee? 
saying the Son of Man must be living in the hands of the sinful men and crucified and, and the third day he rise again. I remember his words. Then they returned from the tomb and told all these things to the eleven. It doesn't say anything about returning to Jerusalem. Maybe it's not Luke, maybe it's a different one than maybe Matthew. It's a long time since I've got this one up. Well, that's the thing. I've, I've looked and I don't know what verse you're quoting, bro. I'll bring, when I come because I've, I've read Luke and, yeah. and I don't really want to go through all the passages, bro. I know, yeah. But what, I know. what I want to say is this, because you, you've spoken a bit for a while. Yeah, what I say is this, when, when we do have this conversation again, bro, I, I, I hope it'll be more cordial than this, because this was cordial, this is nice. This was cordial, right? This, yeah, this, yeah. this was nice. I thought you were saying it wasn't cordial. No, 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 no. I hope it'll be yeah, very yeah. cordial. It was just because it was a madness, right? I just thought yeah, like, yeah, I'd get yeah. in there, you know? I know, and I, th I thought you were just some other thug trying to... No, 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 no. No, 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 no you're a good guy, you're a good no, guy. Only, I, by the way, don't let this fool you. It's just because I have to remain anonymous for, like, you know, my job. And the time. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, like, my, my point is, right, when, when we do come back to the conversation, I want us to really engage in what the Quran says about the Bible yeah, and no also the tafsir. Yeah, 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 no yeah, would you be okay with that? You bring, you bring your stuff, I'll bring my stuff. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I don't mind that because I'm a little tafsir. But God bless you anyway, bro, and yeah, take care. Yeah. I hope you come to Christ. I hope you come to this man. God bless you as well, man. Yeah. Do you want to wrap up? Go on, you wrap up, man. Yeah, so it's, it's Brother Darren. Uh, I'm here with Captain Bloodfire and um, just came across a. Uh, Bit of an interesting conversation that was also, I guess, interrupted by a, a heretic. Um, but essentially, Bloodfire got into some dialogue uh, with a Muslim, um, which was eventually kind of came over here. Yeah, it was a nice Muslim. Nice, nice guy, and it calmed down really nice. Yeah, and, and that's how I think Muslims should really behave. Right? They should come here and they should behave in a cordial manner. They shouldn't be attacking. That's right. They shouldn't be insulting. If they've got questions, they should ask them. Relatively like, I, I'm not a scholar, I'm not to be a scholar, so if there's something I've got wrong, yeah. please, by all means, pick me up on it, come down to the park, or even like make a video, if, if you're Christian, make a video, confirm some stuff or whatever. I, I don't mind that, I'm okay with that. But as Daniel said, that, that guy was cool. We got into the Old Testament text, we got into yeah. the New Testament text. Um, I, I, I disagree with him wholly about the interpretations he has of the, the, the gospel and Torah regards to the Old Testament. Right? That's fine, that's, that's his opinion. Darren, do you want to say anything? Yeah, um, I, I just came over and heard when Lamin and Bloodfire were in discussion over the text of Isaiah 44 verse 6. Lamin was trying to read from the New International Version and I took, well, I explained to Bloodfire we needed to look at the Dead Sea Scrolls and the KJV which matches the Dead Sea Scrolls from the Isaiah scroll which is actually before Christ to see that it talks about two persons in that, in that verse, the Lord God and his Redeemer. Lamin was trying to read it from the NIV, which the NIV doesn't have it explained that way to match yeah, up with so the it's Dead new Indian Scrolls. version. <laughs> That's right. So essentially, it comes down to the same thing. Muslims always are trying to uh, attack the Trinity, but when we look in the oldest versions and the oldest manuscripts, we see that the Trinity is there. I think um, Captain Bloodfire then moved on to Isaiah 48 verse 16 and some other uh, scriptures which show um, the Trinity. The other thing is this, Jesus said in John 8 verse 58, before uh, Abraham was, I am. I am. Yeah. So he's already declared that he was one with the Father and he was I am from then. We don't necessarily need to see him uh, explicitly as Ye Yeshua. If we go to Zechariah 12 verse 10, yes. we also see that the Lord is speaking and he's pierced. We went through the same thing with Psalm 22 yes. uh, today as well. And we saw that uh, in uh, in one of the uh, scrolls in K4, it shows in Psalm 22 that the Lord was pierced. And, you know, he was trying to appeal to the Masoretic text, to a later text version, but, you know, Bloodfire dealt with that. Yeah, we dealt with it the best we can. God bless you. Love you. God bless. God bless. Uh, uh.